Hey everyone, welcome back to the playthrough, and in this video we're going to be going into the um, back half of the Act 3 areas to collect um, a whole bunch of quests all at once. Uh, I have done a little gear swapping since last time. I went and grabbed one of my Stormcaller Spellblades for its uh, plus 2 to Wind Devil, various lightning and electrocute stuff, and then I decided to run and grab the three... Myvin set pieces. They're uh, they're kind of a handy low level set to have, um, and uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna run these while we go up here. That's why that's why I wanted to run them. <laughs> So, when you get into this section of the game, you're going to end up fighting these guys a lot, the cultists of uh, Jathan. They're, they're humans, so they're mostly susceptible to, you know, everything in the game, more or less. Um, but they all... Well, I shouldn't say all. A lot of them, probably most of them, now that I'm thinking about it, use some form of chaos damage. Which, I mean, there's one form of chaos damage. So they basically use chaos damage, is what I'm saying. Um, and, uh, chaos damage is... It's like one of the... Uh, yeah, I guess I say it's one of the rarer elemental types. Oh, right, I have an astral mantle on as well. So, um, yeah, I switched out my shoulders for an Astral Mantle with its cool lightning orb proc. Um, anyways, yeah, uh, Chaos Damage is a rarer of the elementals in the game. It pretty much is just used by cultists and stuff. Um, I think we've encountered Harbingers before on this. Um, on this playthrough, Chathonic Harbingers are kind of a bitch to deal with, in all honesty. And you're going to start to encounter the, um... The Chathonic Gorgers. What did I pick up? Huh. Which, um, are these little guys. They tend to do sort of a swarm tactic on you. But the, uh... The actual yellow, rarer, um, I guess they'd be elites. I don't actually know the technical term in this game for the yellow mobs. But, um, I'm sure I've heard it, and I'm like, oh, that's what they're called, and then just forgot it. But yeah, anyways, uh, the yellow ones tend to be kind of strong, especially in Ultimate. So I'm stopping here because we have the waypoint for Sorrow's Bastion. And I want to point out that if you pick Kaiman's Chosen, you go up this, this direction, and there are some Kaiman's guys up there. Um, guarding their entrance to Sorrow's Bastion. But since we're Order of Death's Vigil, we have kind of a little bit longer walk to get to, to our section, um, which is over here. But, yeah, if you're Kaimans and you want to just kill a couple Death's Vigil's, guy to Death's Vigil's guys to practice, they're up here. But, yeah, the entrance is, is down and around here. Yeah, Kaimans is a tower, so it's bright and airy and open, kinda. And Order of Death's Vigil. And Death's Vigil is, um... Dark and dank, and it's like a basement. And you can, you can explore around. It's not like there's anything crazy down here. But, uh... Yeah, we've got a standard... Um, supplier slash salvage dealer. This door back here is is used for a quest. It's like the last quest, second to last quest you need to do. Um, this is the probably the first time you'll you'll run into the uh, hmm, those might be good to carry around for a couple characters I have. Um, anyways, yeah, there. Are, this is where you first encounter the, the, the ware seller, and you can take a look at um, take a look at the stuff that, that the order sells you. And then back here, the Keeper of Tomes, you're actually going to get the second set of quests from instead of the uh, 
instead of um, Master Varuk here. Uh, Kaimans is the same way. There's going to be the, the, the Keeper of Artifacts or whatever Kaimans calls it um, in that place. But the when you hit um, Respected, you actually get um, a representative that is the seller in Homestead. <laughs> so Homestead is kind of the place you, you go for Homestead faction stuff. Well, you could go. I would say it's a good base of operations, should you choose to use it as one. Because um, you can get to the Black Legion seller, the Homestead seller, and your chosen faction seller are all in Homestead. And you can talk to this guy. Um, he'll tell you what's going on in the fields up here. So, what's going on in the fields up here, <laughs> I can just say it out loud because I've done it so many damn times, is a war is going on. It's a three. It's a three faction war happening up here, and um, the first faction is like obviously it's Chthonics. Chthonics are up here. Then Order that's Vigils also up here as well, and they'll fight beside you. And then also your enemy faction is going to be up here as well. So here's some Kaimans. So you got some kind. Of, there's always going to be a cluster of Kaimans or Order guys right there. And as you can see, like we have um, the, yeah, the, those Kaimans guys are just killing, just absolutely wrecking these uh, cultists up here. You know, I say it's a three faction war. Um, I mean it. They will actually fight each other for uh, just fight each other all around the place. So, um, here you're going to find a witch who is... Um, about to be burned. But you can save her since she's not, like, actually an evil witch. Or you can burn her. I mean, it's entirely up to you. Either way, you'll get an item off it that you'll probably never use. Oh, and technically there's a fourth faction up here in that there are spiders and manticores. But uh, I wouldn't really consider that a real faction. In all honesty, it's beasts. So yeah, Bloodsworn, Bloodsworn Agilents are like the basic unit for the Chthanians. And then they have, they have, they actually have a lot of different types of, a lot of different types of guys. So the Agilents are low end, um, I believe there's something of, along the lines of a Zealot. There's Doomsayers that can cast Doom Bolt. There are Summoners that summon. There are... Um, void Callers, which are probably my least favorite. They summon these Crystals. That um, shoot just raw chaos damage out. And they're kind of annoying. <laughs> um... Let's see. Yeah, they're they're mostly a variety of caster types. I mean, there is one. I'm just running back in the poison because I don't care. <laughs> um. There is one combat guy, I think. That might be the uh, the zealot I'm I'm trying to think of. So when you come up to a uh, Myla Myla Fine Feingen, I don't care what her name is. Um, <laughs> it's very obvious she's not she's not a person here to do anything uh, noble. 
Uh, so the Wraith of Sorrows is the, the thing you gotta fight here. Now, I've never had troubles fighting her. <laughs> um, even with a character that's kind of on the weekend like this, um, I've never really had trouble dealing with what she does. <laughs> um, some people do, some people don't. So, she's mostly a... She's mostly a... Uh, Vitality damage dealing character from what I can put together. Vitality cold, I think is her stuff. Because she's a ghost. That's what she does. Oh yeah, and I, I think I point this out every time I come over here. Um, <laughs> This is like my favorite like corpse in the game because that's an outhouse and the guy the guy was killed by spiders. <laughs> While well, he was on the can. It amuses me in a very, very, like, not grown up way. These manticores are exactly like all the other manticores in the game, they're just colored different. Yeah, blood sworn zealots, I was right. And of course, they'll, they'll summon up Void Fiends and uh, when they die. And Harbingers are sort of interspersed throughout everything. I mean, it's, it's your standard mix of cult crap. Yeah, so there are a couple things we got to do in, in the Blood Grove here. We got to look for the bodies of the scouts. We gotta look for the bodies of the scouts. We gotta find the remains. Um, the remains of Malkadar. And we have to free the farmers. <laughs> so three things that we can do real quick that aren't difficult to do at all. And there's a devotion shrine out here. So the prisoners are going to be in one of the cages out here, and it's going to be random. But you rift gate them back to homestead. Oh look, the remains are right here. The remains are also going to be in a couple random spots, as are the the bodies of the scouts. And sometimes you'll get like scout bodies in the cages. So we need two more of those, one more of those. And I'll pick up the Devotion Shrine on my way. So there is a unique guy in here that I'm actually going to search around for. Because he, um... He might give... He, he gives people... He gives people trouble. In all honesty. Uh, yeah. Bolivar the Blood... Blood Drinker. Blood Drinker? Is it Blood Drinker? I don't remember. So yeah, Bolivar out here is, uh, he can be a pain to some people, but I moderately find him a pain. Oh, right, and then there's a rift. <laughs> there is a Chthonic rift out here. So, um, like I said, okay, yeah, Gorgers, that's an example of getting hoarded by Gorgers. I don't know why, I, my finger slipped on the nullification there. So let's come up here and get these guys. Come over here, get the void callers. Hey, oh, those are those are some death visuals, guys. Hmm, what a weird tree. I wonder if it's involved in something later. So um, I am actually going to grab. Where's that corpse I'm seeing? It's below the altar. So I'm actually going to grab up some extra insignias for later. Because uh, if you pick up more than five of them, you, you just carry them over to the other difficulties. And it makes it kind of easy to pick up 
um, pick up and do those quests. And, uh, because you can, you can just almost instantly complete some of them. So yeah, Boulevard of the Blood Letter, not Blood Drinker. I think there is a Blood Drinker character somewhere around here. So the reason he gives people problems, and I hope he's going to do it. So he summons stuff. And in melee, he won't usually do the ability that's kind of the pain in the ass ability he does. So I don't know that we're actually going to oh, see him do it. That. So he does this chaos shotgun thing where uh, he does this chaos shotgun thing where he will throw out um, like rocks basically and then when the rocks hit you know get yeah, that boom and then they hit and they split apart like that the nickname for that ability is the chaos shotgun and it's called the chaos shotgun because you can get hit by multiple of those projectiles Fugum, um, at once and it it can actually instantly kill you <laughs> if you're unlucky enough to get caught in a lot of those all at once you can instantly die it annoys some people that play hardcore because he can actually do it off screen when you don't know where he is so you can actually get chaos shotgunned um Oh, damn it. Okay, so you can actually get Chaos Shotgunned um, quite easily. <laughs> and without without even actually knowing it's happened to you. So at this Devotion Shrine, it needs a cons or, uh, yeah, Consecrated Wrappings, um, which I can obviously get. But I have not had a Chthonic Seal of Binding drop. That's actually kind of a rarity for me. <laughs> Normally I've had one drop already, and it's... Kind of funny it didn't happen. Like, Boulevard didn't even drop one. Cheap bastard. Okay, so I am going to head... I gotta go back this way. I'm actually gonna head north because I want to get... I'll get the waypoint. Um... A chip claw. So the Blood Groves Rift Gate. Um, we're reinforcing our team here. Um, so yeah, the. Uh, wait, there's no one. Okay, I think we got everyone. So there's there's going to be Kaimans and then your faction. Well, I should just say Kaimans and Orders right there. Sometimes these guys will spawn near there, and it's like a giant three-way melee. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the Blood Grove Waypoint is right here. It's sort of like north and a little west of that center, center area. So, thanks for watching, everyone. That was most of what's in the Blood Grove. Uh, next time we're going to be doing some more side quests around this area. And then maybe doing that rift. It might it might behoove me to do it. Um, and get it out of the way to get, get a thing for a quest we would get later on. So uh, thanks for watching again. And I'll see you guys next time.